The Romance of Steam. Yes, for some romance, for others, muck everywhere. In your eyes, your ears, in your hair. Now, between London, Southampton and Bournemouth, electricity sweeps all that away and sweeps on with travel fit for the 70s. Clean, quiet, fast and frequent. Seasoned travellers will react at once to 29 extra trains a day and to the big speed up with added quietness. For now, London and Southampton are only 70 minutes apart. But there's something here for everyone, whatever their pleasure or business. For this lovely line, seen properly for the first time, now the smoke has cleared, links a cathedral city, industrial complexes, a great port, the wide open spaces of the new forest, and the beauty of Bournemouth. Commuting to London from what used to be far away places is now so easy. At Bournemouth, a breath of sea air on the way to the station, and he'll be in his London office in 105 minutes. From Southampton, too, commuting is much quicker. And from Winchester, there are 21 extra trains a day to choose from. But wherever you work, you could live away from it and commute, often in minutes on the new railway. What a way to travel to work. You'll travel on it just as they do. Once in London with a handsome payload of commuters, driver and guard change ends and are ready to return with holiday makers for Weymouth, day outers for the seaside or the new forest, and business trippers for Basingstoke or Southampton. better place for orange juice and a comic. Or coffee and a conference. Smooth, isn't it? And quiet. It's due to the continuous welded rail newly laid all the way. The cushion sprung bogies and underfloor insulation. 
gives cigarettes a better ride too. Winchester City, a great place for a morning off without the car. To shop or to freshen up on one's history. Minutes later, our business friends are at Southampton. I wonder what they're planning. A takeover bid for the whole port, perhaps. hits the sands for the little family. Let's hope the weather clears up. For Weymouth passengers, a change of power. There's not enough traffic as yet to justify electrifying the line onwards, but a diesel electric will do just as well, and within minutes, they're away. Ten trains later, our travellers are well on with the business of the day. Other people are trying out the new quick link with the Midlands on the direct Southampton-Birmingham service. Still others are off to see the world via the bus link between Woking and London Airport. This is no help to Londoners, of course, only those who live nearby or southwest of Woking. For our businessmen, it's back to head office, and quickly. They hadn't long to wait, for whenever you're ready to move, there'll be a train, give or take a few minutes. As the day and the trains run on, reasons for travelling change. Commuters make way for schoolchildren, for businessmen, for holidaymakers, for housewives or day-outers enjoying off-peak ticket bargains. And then back they come, joined by those bent on a good night out. For as one lot of passengers are set down, others take their place. for home, tired but happy. And the train's the best way to get you there. 